AI voice cloning has come a long way. With a tool like Eleven Labs, you can replicate your voice in just minutes, but just how good is it? And more importantly, is it worth your money? In this video, I'm going to tell you all about it. So let's dive in. So to get started, click on the link down below and head over to the Eleven Labs website. And for what we're going to do today, you will need to get the creator plan. It is necessary because it includes the professional voice cloning feature. Of course, if you just need the custom voices they offer, then you can sign up for free. But for our purpose today, you need to get the creator plan. And once you're signed up, you will see this page and you can click on the voices on the left hand side and then click on add this add button here. So as you can see, you have a few options here and what we're going to do today is the professional voice cloning. So you can explore other options, but for the purpose of this video, let's go with the last one. So click on it. Then you will come to this page where it will guide you through a few things that you need to pay attention to when you're preparing your audio files. So for example, for me, the most important thing to have is a microphone and then you want to record it in a really quiet environment because as I said here, the result of your, your audio or your cloned voice really depends on what you feed into the system. Does that make sense? So I know a lot of YouTubers just use their video files and then upload the audio of it. But for me, I wanted to make sure that my audio quality was good. So what I did was actually I asked ChatGPT to get me like 30 topics, things to get me talking. And I just keep talking for like, I think I managed to do one and a half hours or something like that. So you can do you, like you can use your videos or you can do like me, just record some brand new audio files. Okay, so once you have that ready, you can read through this by yourself. Just understand that the quality of the audio is really important. And then once you have read everything, just click on start. You can name your voice and then upload your audio here. So let me just walk you through this part. It says for best results, provide at least 30 minutes of speaker training data. So the audio file and three hours is optimal. So for me, I did about one hour and a half. Then it also says we only allow you to clone your own voice. You will be asked to go through a verification process before submitting your fine tuning request. So you cannot clone someone else's voice, just yourself. Okay. You can also add a description here to help AI understand. And I ran out of ideas. So I asked ChatGPT to help me with this. And you tell me if this is too much. I think it is okay. Okay, let's get started and create our professional voice. Really exciting stuff. And now let's start the verification. The world is round and the place which may seem like the end may also be the beginning. And it is verified. So click finish. And now your voice is being created. So I'll come back when it's ready and I'll show you the results. All right, now looks like my AI voice is ready. So let's have a look. I'll go to voices and click on personal. Then you have the voice we just created. Okay. Uh, and here I see that it says your samples after cleanup have duration of 3,983 seconds. So this equals to around one hour, a little bit more. And it says the ideal duration is more than two hours. So I needed to actually provide more samples, but let's still have a look. And here you can also see that there are a few recommended models. So we can just click one and we'll try others as well. So let's listen. Hey guys, what you're hearing now is a purely artificial version of Ting's voice. She's off being a lazy ass biatch, finding AI to do her job for her. <laughs> so do you think that sounds like the real her? Wow, uh, this is completely crazy. Like I am 
mind blown, really, because I I I didn't imagine this to be so good. Like seriously, if you play this to my mom, she wouldn't know a difference. Like for sure. Okay, I just asked ChatGPT to give me a random text. Let's see how my AI will read this. Hey, how's it going? Yesterday was pretty wild. Caught up with Sarah for lunch, and we ended up chatting about our favorite movies and random travel stories. Then I tried that new workout class, and wow, I'm sore today. How about you? Okay, so this one does sound a bit more robotic, and let's just <laughs> see for the settings. You can have more similar or stable. So let's try a little bit less stable to see. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Yesterday was pretty wild. Caught up with Sarah for lunch, and we ended up chatting about our favorite movies and random travel stories. Then I tried that new workout class, and wow, I'm sore today. How about you? Okay, this did sound a little bit better. Let's try one more with like similarity a bit more. It it does sound. <laughs> It does speak really slowly. I know that I speak a bit slowly, but this was another level. Hey, how's it going? Yesterday was pretty wild. Caught up with Sarah for lunch, and we ended up chatting about our favorite movies and random travel stories. Then I tried that new workout class, and wow, I'm sore today. How about you? Okay, this was no better. It was still very slow. So you might need to play around with like different model. So as we saw, and then all these settings, right? But still, like the voice itself is just me, and even I didn't provide with enough training samples. So if you can really try to do up to like、uh, at least two hours of samples, and that will give you the Best result possible. So now that we've come to the final part of this video, let me tell you a little secret. So the intro of this video was in fact created by the AI clone voice of mine, and not my voice. Did you guess it? And what do you think? Do you think it sounds like the real me? Yes? No? Leave a comment down below to let me know. Overall, I would say that 11 laps is really affordable, and the results are quite impressive. So, if you're looking to create content like audio content with just a script, I think you should definitely give this a try. And I think that yeah, it might sound a little bit robotic or like just lack of emotion sometimes, but I'm sure if you feed it more content like more audio files to train it, and also with the advancement of 11 laps technology. It will eventually get there, so it's definitely worth trying. And if you want, there's a link down below. As I said, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below to let me know as well. And if you want to learn more about Eleven Labs, click here now to watch more content, and I will see you there.